Welcome back. The North Dakota Professional Health Program is dedicated to helping health care professionals who may have physical or mental health conditions. We got to speak with board president Dr. Julie Blem, who bravely shares her personal story for being involved with NDPHP. Thank you so much. I really am honored to get to talk with you, um, Dr. Julie Blem. You are the board president for NDPHP. Um, if you could just go ahead and start out by just explaining how you came to be involved with the North Dakota Professional Health Program. I uh, became involved in part because uh, Barry March, who was one of the first kind of founders of the organization and helped get it going, asked me if I would be interested in being on the board. I thought it was very important um, in part because my husband, who was a pediatrician, killed himself nine years ago. And the issues with the stigma of mental health and addiction and kind of all that area for physicians is um, still rather incredible. And so I thought it was a very important organization that had very important goals. What has it been like to be able to, I guess, um, share your personal tragedy um, with, I believe you talked to med students, right? Yes, I, that has been um, very rewarding personally for me because I think it's very important. I do those presentations for both medical students and residents and in general physicians are sometimes present. And I do them along with Dr. Rob Olson, who's a psychiatrist at Sanford and Fargo. And we both feel this is an extremely important area because there are a lot of stressors in medicine and for full-time practicing physicians or part-time, there's a lot of stressors, but for medical students and residents, I think the stress is even more because they're trying so hard to prove themselves and do a good job and keep up with everything. So we think it's very important to start early discussing these issues and making certain that they know there's help and that they can find help and talk to others about these issues. And the North Dakota PHP program also deals with medical students and residents. So that's another important message we like to bring. You know, and this message applies all the time, but especially this year, the year of 2020, which just the challenges, you know, I'm sure we'll go back and study all of the um, long-term results um, issues that have come out of this year, but What's it been like this year trying to get that message across, especially when so many medical professionals are facing challenges? Well, it's been a bit more difficult, in part because we don't think this message is best over Zoom. We think it's better in person, we get more discussion. So some of our presentations have been canceled, but we um, did do a Zoom presentation to a group of program directors from both Sioux Falls and Fargo in the Sanford system, program directors for residency programs. And that went quite well and had good discussion. I think it's a very important issue now because people are working so hard and seeing so many very ill people and the tragedy of some of the complications and the deaths piled on top of everything else they see on a daily basis has uh, been very difficult for physicians and caused high stress. And then the additional stress of worrying about, will I bring something home to my family? What about my spouse, my children, other people I'm in close contact with? So I think it's just kind of probably at least doubled the stresses they are used to dealing with. It can be so hard for everyone to ask for help, um, but do you think that it's harder sometimes for doctors or med students who 
they are so used to being the ones to help other people and solve the problem. Yes, I think it is very difficult. And I think you go through medical school and residency and then becoming a physician and say, gee, I'm supposed to be helping others and I'm not ever supposed to show any weakness or difficulties of any kind. And you look at that and we, I sometimes wonder, how did we ever get to this point? Because everybody has issues in their life. Everybody deals with problems. And, um, but I do think there's this sense that they should be able to take care of everything themselves. I know my um, husband told me that once when I raised an issue about, I think you need help for this problem. I can take care of it myself. And I don't think that's an unusual response at all from healthcare professionals. And I think it's important that medical students, residents, and physicians in North Dakota know about our professional health program and what an incredible help it can be and that it is confidential if they seek help. Now, Dr. Julie Blem says she shares her husband's story to help others seek help if they need it. And she hopes anyone who is struggling will find someone to talk to. If you would like more